welcome back uh, so in last videos we were uh, trying to add the image for the slider uh, so let's get the image so I have uh, downloaded few images and now let's add it into our page so these are the two images which uh, I have downloaded so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these uh, two image and uh, inside our bootstrap folder I'm going to make one folder named IMG and uh, inside IMG I'm going to paste these two images and now open that uh, carousel code and in the carousel code you have the image source link here which is blank currently so what I'm going to do I'm going to give an uh, path give a path to the image uh, so let's see the image is here and the image name is apple.jpg so I'm going to say sorry I'm going to write img forward slash apple.jpg and uh, this uh, alternative text you can give uh, apple and here I'm going to give one h2 tag let's say apple image and in the second image uh, link I'm going to write give img and green dot jpg and I'm going to say green apple and let's save this page and uh, refresh this page now wow so now uh, the image is coming uh, even the scroll is also working but only two images there third image is not there so let's see the second image is apple and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the another image so let's say this again one image I'm going to rename it I'm going to say let's say red apple dot jpg copy this one and put it inside the image folder and uh, link uh, to your uh, x2 give and I'm going to say green apple and since three uh, uh, three uh, image placeholder is there one two three why this three uh, circle is coming is because of uh, this three code so what we are going to do is now let's uh, copy this uh, section and paste it here and here you just give the red apple dot jpg so i'm going to say red apple and this you give red apple right now if you can refresh uh, this page so let's see this is first second and this oh wow why it is not coming might be some url mistake we would have did it oh red green dot jpg i have given it should be red apple dot jpg now go and refresh this page once again not coming refresh uh, once again this is first this is second and this is third great so now uh, successfully we have uh, uh, added the image carousel for our home page uh, and below home page you have uh, a header and uh, the text now uh, what we are going to uh, see is let's say below this particular header and text if we are going to make three different section how we can achieve that so for that let's say uh, this is the image carousel option this uh, slider ends here and this is uh, our this code is this section this one 
and this one is the paragraph now below this what we are going to do is we are going to uh, take a three row so how to take three row is if you go into getbootstrap.com and uh, go inside css so you will see how to uh, take the row how to take the containers we'll discuss uh, what is row what is containers and all in detail so let's go inside uh, the row so this is what it is so let's say we need three row so col md4 col md4 and col md4 uh, so if we take uh, these three col md4 inside one row so 4 into 3 so that is going to be 12 now the calculation of this 12 how it work is in a bootstrap page the vertical uh, you know the width of this any page is divided into 12 column so basically col md4 col stands for column md stands for medium device and 4 stands for 4 column so basically you are taking 4 columns for the medium device in a simple way so you are taking 4 column here 4 column and 4 column so total is going to be 12 so whatever the size of the column uh, you are going to take make sure you are that total uh, addition is going to be uh, 12 so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take uh, a row and uh, i'm going to take uh, four uh, col md4 so uh, let's say div class col md4 and i'm going to say h4 first column and this you just copy and paste it and this is you make it second column and this one you make it third column and save this page and go and uh, refresh your blog page hopefully you should see yes so this is your uh, first column this is your second column and this is your third column and below this let's say you are going to uh, give some text also so you can give a text so let's say uh, instead of let's say h4 we are going to take h2 and give h2 so that it should come out little bit bigger and uh, we are going to make it h2 for all three columns and right so we have made it now below this let's give one paragraph and uh, paragraph let's say this is the content which we are going to copy it and paste it right and let's say copy this one and add it uh, here also in within one paragraph and again add it here within one paragraph and save it and moment you save and uh, refresh your page hopefully it should come properly yes so basically you can see this is the first paragraph uh, i have to this is the second paragraph and this is the third paragraph and all this paragraph is coming beautifully from the bootstrap uh, the reason we should uh, learn bootstrap is uh, bootstrap gives you a very simple way and very easy way to write and design the front end uh, page and uh, whether it's for website or going to be an applic for a, for an application and uh, this is very easy uh, so you know as you have seen within half an hour we have understood what what is bootstrap and uh, how you can just design a beautiful page so let's say uh, below this you need again two columns there is three columns and below this you need two column so how we can achieve this two column is go uh, inside uh, your uh, atom ide so this is the uh, code which you have for this three column and below this let's say just to uh, make it more clear just give one comment called two column and you say here two column and two column ends 
and inside this uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take again a row with the two column right so I'm going to type row and since I'm going to take two column so instead of col md4 we can take col md6 right so let's take a div with col md6 and uh, let's say you know copy this uh, code just just for a demo purpose and again this uh, code you copy this and paste it here and now just save this page and refresh your uh, browser hopefully you should see so you can see now there is a uh, third column so instead of third column let's say this uh, this you uh, make it first and this you make it second and just to differentiate it you give one hr tag so that there should be one horizontal line and uh, refresh this one so now you have a beautiful uh, two column where you have the first column uh, with a six column md6 and the second column in the second half of the page uh, let's say below this you need uh, a footer so how to get footer browse through again uh, get bootstrap.com and uh, go to get started and uh, click on examples scroll down and you will see uh, some examples with the footer so let's say click on this you have some footer here right uh, or let's say this is a sticky footer so a sticky footer with navbar let's say mm, we are clicking on this and let's say we uh, are clicking we are viewing the source and uh, just this is the footer code so let's copy this code and what we are going to do is we are going to below this container we'll see what is container in the uh, upcoming videos but uh, let's see uh, how does it look like now refresh your page uh, refresh your page and see whether the footer is coming or not so yes i can see some footer is coming and let's say we can give one hr tag to differentiate so that there will be some space so let's give uh, a hr tag here and refresh this page once again so you have uh, the footer here and you can give a footer uh, text you can change your footer text something like copyright statement copyright 2016 and you refresh your page you should see the copyright great so uh, what we have seen this uh, screencast is uh, how we can add the carousel how we can link the image with the carousel how we can make uh, three columns and or how we can make two columns how we can add the footer similarly uh, I mean whatever uh, the design assumption or idea what you can have you can integrate uh, using bootstrap thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one